The following is a production of the Dallas Genealogical Society. For more information, please visit our website at www.dallasgenealogy.org. All right, well, good morning. Thanks for uh, coming out today. Uh, I do want to uh, thank our members who made it out today. We also have several guests who are, I'm not sure if they're here for the first time, but if you are, welcome. We'll talk a little bit about some of the things that we do in the in the little presentation we do before the uh, before the show, uh, we have a few members as well that joined. I haven't had a chance to meet you yet. Hopefully, I'll catch you on the way out. But whoever you are, whoever you are, whoever you are I'll welcome and, and thanks for joining the society. Um, love to chat with you and just talk a little bit about what we do as well. Okay, so a little bit of business. Um, our previous minutes uh, were on the table out there. They're on the website as well. Any questions, corrections, comments on the minutes from the last meeting? All right, hearing none, we will approve those. <laughs> Gloria Goodwin, our director of membership, has let me know that we do have quorum for this meeting. So uh, once again, thank you all for being here. It's important not only for the learning part of it, but for the business side of what we do with the society as well. Okay, I did get a, a late breaking update from our treasurer. He was not able to make it today. Um, he did leave me the details we need, so bear with me as I read through these. Um, okay, so the March, uh, or the financial report, the March cash receipts were $4,504. The March disbursements were $2,427, uh, with a net increase in cash of $3,087, leaving the cash in the bank as of 3-31-2018 at $164,393. Okay, that's it. Any questions or comments on that? All right, hearing none, we will file those for financial review. Okay, so uh, we've talked about Bring a Friend um, for the last uh, several months. <laughs> this is a this is a an initiative really trying to get some folks that uh, might enjoy what we do at the Dallas Genealogical Society to come in and, and check out a general meeting, meet some folks, uh, maybe have a conversation with uh, our uh, our folks in the the back of the break room, talking about any barriers or questions you have about genealogy. Um, but along with that, if you bring a guest, um, we're doing an initiative, just a little uh, incentive to uh, a, a free seminar during our next, uh, our next year. So if you come in, you're a guest, uh, you, you sign in, you get a ticket, and your name goes in the hat for a raffle drawing. So uh, we've been doing this for, for a few months now. Uh, hopefully the, the guests we have were part of this today. But May is the last chance to do this. So if you've got some friends or family that you've been thinking about, next month is the day. So uh, bring them in, and we'll do the drawing um, in May for uh, to see who wins the who wins the, uh, the free seminar pass. Any questions? Carolyn? Is this a raffle? No. Uh, it's too hard, I'll, I'll always send my friends. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the, the, all the tickets go into a hat and we, we draw, um, I mean, it's raffle-like. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure if there's a deeper, a deeper explanation of raffle, but. Uh, all right. All right. So we do have uh, just just one piece of business slash announcement beyond the the typical stuff we do. Um, this is the time of year where we start thinking about leadership for the 2018-19 year. Uh, we formed a committee, um, and uh, I'd like to bring uh, Tony Hansen up here to talk about uh, the what the committee did for us. So any of you visitors that didn't register see me after the meeting, and I'll claim coup for you. <laughs> just just kidding. <laughs> No, so one of the things that is very important um, is leadership for any organization, any society, and that's no less true for us than others. And so we're very fortunate that we have found, that we have a group of people that are willing to step up and to assume leadership roles to run the society on our behalf. And so next May we are going to be having an election and uh, we have identified a slate of officers. So Todd Decker has agreed to run for a second term as our president. Jim Thornhill is going to fill in for Kristen Moore, who is leaving us, sadly, but he's going to take the, the role of vice president. 
Carolyn Simpson is going to continue as secretary, and Travis Tynes is going to continue as treasurer, and you're stuck with me as past president. So that is essentially your executive board of directors, though the five of us are, are, are deemed with that. So I just present that to you for your consideration. There's an article about uh, this in the newsletter as well. And again, next May, we especially need a quorum of you to show up and make this official, so we put, I guess, not just these people, but us people to work. Um, along with that, there are a number of directors and other appointed positions that we'll be working to fill. Our transition is this way. We have the election in May, but the officers don't assume office until September. We use the summer as kind of a transition period, kind of an overlap, so that the new members of the board have a chance to learn their jobs, kind of get into the groove of things. And for the new board also, that's a four-month period where we'll be reaching out and trying to fill some of these appointed positions uh, that are not elected in May. So those of you that are not a part of the, the board or not part of the organization in any way, I would just strongly consider you to encourage it for a lot of reasons. Uh, it's fun, believe it or not. We actually have fun running this organization. And it also is a great way to meet people and to expand your skill set. Um, as you know, as a genealogist, genealogists are early adopters of technology. We use technology a lot. This organization is no different. It's a great way to learn some skills. So we'll challenge you, we'll stretch you, we'll find the place for you to fit. But we encourage you to step forward and say, I want to be part of the team. So just consider that and please think about volunteering for something. Thank you. Any questions about the slate of officers or anything? No. Thank you. All right, so we just finished up our spring seminar uh, with Michael Strauss, which was fantastic. If you guys were there, hopefully you, uh, you enjoyed that time. We do have the, uh, the next two coming up, uh, Mark Lowe in August and uh, David Rencher in September. If you, uh, registration's not open yet. Was there, a, I'm sorry, was there a question? Okay. Registration for, uh, for the August seminar will be opening up shortly, so watch the newsletter and watch for announcements there. Um, and we hope to see you at, at these events. There, these are another great way to, to connect with, uh, with each other, um, talk about you know, this, this passion that we have for family history and learning about where we're from. Uh, and these are awesome events to do that, so hope to see you at these. Okay, one of the, one of the other things that we do, um, we do this meeting monthly, we take a little break in the summer. Uh, there's a little bit of business up front. We have a, a speaker that, that talks about something interesting from a, a genealogical family history, uh, uh, technology in some cases. We do one of these every month. We do the seminars that I just talked about. We do three a year um, that cover a variety of topics with uh, nationally known speakers. Uh, we also have these special interest groups. And you can see that this is just a, a quick view of what's coming up. Uh, we have uh, a variety of, of uh, offerings that meet regularly to talk about these, you know, uh, technologies, DNA, brown bag, whatever, you know, whatever you're interested in, there's likely a special interest group for you. Um, and it's another way to, to build your skill as well as connect with other, other folks interested in, um, in genealogy. So this is just a quick view. If you go to the dallasgenealogy.com, you'll see... Um, uh, we have a calendar of events that have these each and every month, so you can do some planning if you want to. Find out specifics on where they are and what time they are, but these are the ones that are coming up. All right, so our next general meeting is May 5th. Um, and as Tony mentioned, that's, uh, that's an important one for us, not only for the content that we have, but it, it is the election for officers for the next year. So uh, we really encourage you to come out and, and uh, help make sure we uh, we're able to conduct the business that we need to. Next month, we'll have Patty Gillespie uh, talking about uh, proving long lost family uh, the indirect way. So that, that'll be an interesting interesting talk for us. Is Lisa, you come up and introduce our speaker for this month. This has been a presentation of the Dallas Genealogical Society. If you're already a member, thank you. Your membership dues are supporting this and other society activities. If you're not yet a member, I hope you consider joining. You can become a member for as little as $35 a year, and you can join by going to our website, dallasgenealogy.org, and clicking on the Membership tab.